Hey, welcome to my channel, Preet Oliver. In previous video, we discussed about cloud concept and cloud computing. In today's video, we will discuss about cloud model. So, just like I have told you last time, last video, I have told you that cloud concept, which is it is long back ago, has come. Right, twenty to twenty-five years earlier, has come. In the form of mail and data store onto the remote server. So it's not new to the market, but yeah, of course, cloud computing is a new to the market. So new, uh, new system, new processes has come with the cloud computing, where you can process your data onto the remote servers. So, today we will discuss the cloud model. So before that, uh, let me uh, tell you definition of cloud computing: use of remote server on the internet to store, manage, and process data through web-based tool or application is known as cloud computing. मतलब क्लाउड कॉन्सेप्ट जब हम जान रहे थे तो हमने सिर्फ उसमें बताया था कि डेटा स्टोर करते हैं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ योर मेल सॉफ्टवेयर बट बट क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग में यू आर प्रोसेसिंग यू आर एबल एबल टू प्रोसेस योर डेटा ऑन टू द रिमोट सर्वर व्हिच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द क्लाउड सर्विस प्रोवाइडर और क्लाउड पेयर ओके लाइक एडब्ल्यूएस एजियोर अमेजॉन लाइक जीजीसीपी सो दीस आर द जॉइंट क्लाउड सर्विस प्रोवाइड इन द मार्केट सो क्लाउड मॉडल क्या है तो इन क्लाउड मॉडल देयर आर टू मॉडल्स वन इज डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल अनदर इज सर्विस मॉडल तो अगर डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल को पहले समझेंगे क्या है तो डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल होता है पब्लिक क्लाउड प्राइवेट क्लाउड एंड हाइब्रिड क्लाउड तो पब्लिक क्लाउड क्या है पब्लिक क्लाउड ऑफर शेयर रिसोर्स एंड सर्विसेज ओवर द नेटवर्क मतलब पब्लिक क्लाउड में आपको आई विल आई विल ट्राई टू मेक यू विद आई विल ट्राई टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड विद एग्जाम्पल दैट विल बी इजियर फॉर यू सपोज आपके पास एक सर्वर है क्लाउड पे आप एक सर्विस प्रोवाइडर से क्लाउड का सर्वर लिया हुआ है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हार्डवेयर लिया हुआ है ओके On to the internet, on to the remote server, and you are installing your VM on that uh, server. So, what you do is you make one VM, one virtual machine, two, and three, and four, and five, and another user. So, this is the shared hardware resource to both the public, to both the person. So, that is for the public. So, multiple people can access that hardware. Okay. So, and install their virtual machine on that server. Okay. So, that is for the public. So, multiple people can access that hardware. Okay. And install their virtual machines. So, it is not. It that is a part of public cloud. Okay. There are shared resources. Okay. And services over the internet. Private cloud? What is private cloud? The, if you are using your, uh, your hardware, okay, no other than you can install the virtual machine on that hardware, and that is the private cloud part of private cloud. That the outpost of uh, this AWS is uh, example of private cloud. Okay, so that will be dedicated to you only for your organization only. Private cloud provides a dedicated resource to a single organization. So other who is may involve may be possible. Okay, so that is not shared to other. So that is the private cloud. It is costly. Rather than the public, public may pay as per use, or in which case you have dedicated daily, so this is what you have to pay for. So, rather than the public, public may pay as per use, or in which case you have dedicated daily, so this is what you have to pay for. So, rather than the public, public may pay as per use, or in which case you have dedicated daily, so this is what you have to pay for. So, rather than the public, public may pay as per use, or in which case you have dedicated daily, so this is what you have to pay for. So, rather than the public, public may pay as per use, or in which case you have dedicated daily, so this is what you have to pay for. So, rather than the public, public may pay as per use, or in which case you have dedicated daily, so this is what you have to pay for. किसी भी क्लाउड सर्विस प्रोवाइडर का इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में अपनी वर्चुअल मशीन क्रिएट करते हो अपना एक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बनाते हो ओके तो आप उसका इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज ए सर्विस लेते हो ठीक है आपने एक ओएस बनाते हो वीएम1 वीएम2 वीएम3 और उस पे आप अपनी एप्लीकेशन इंस्टॉल करते हो ओके सो सो इट इज प्योरली वर्चुअल मशीन नीड्स टू बी बी हैंडल बाय यू ओनली नॉट बाय योर क्लाउड सर्विस प्रोवाइडर पैचिंग विल बी डन बाय यू ओनली नॉट बाय देम सो ये इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज ए सर्विस में क्या होता है कि आप यू आर Through their EC2 service and S3 and Elastic Beanstalk, you are installing VM over there, virtual machine. So it is a part of infrastructure as a service. You have an operating system installed. You have to install it. And what else is there? Platform as a service. Suppose you have a DB and you have an instance created for Oracle. Okay. And you wanted to run that instance onto the Oracle, but you do not have a server is not available with you right now. So how you will run your instance? So there is a again platform as a service. Uh, kind of things is available with the cloud service provider. You can run your Oracle instance onto onto their Oracle uh, platform directly. So so उसका जो so that that is a part of platform as a service. मतलब आपको इसे पूरी instance उसके Oracle में चलाना है. Rest everything will be taken care by them only. Their hardware, their OS, and their Oracle also. So availability management will be done by them only. Redundancy will be done by them only. So these are the part of platform as a service. And अब हम आगे समझेंगे SaaS क्या है? S double A S सॉफ्टवेयर एज सर्विस तो इवेंट सिस्टम तो वो सदियों से यूज कर रहे हैं तो दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सास ईआरपी पैकेज यूज करते हैं ठीक है एंड क्लाउड स्टोरेज लाइक 
गूगल ड्राइव एंड ऑल दैट दीज आर द पार्ट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एज अ सर्विस आप क्या करते हो आप जीमेल जो आप जीमेल में अकाउंट बनाते हो और मेल मैनेजमेंट सारा इज बीइंग डन बाय देम ओनली एंड जो आपके मेल की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी डिलीट नहीं होना या प्रॉपर मेल सेंड रिसीव होना तो दैट इज बीइंग मेंटेन बाय देम ओनली सो यू आर हार्डली वरी अबाउट दैट सो दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सास सो ये ये क्लाउड मॉडल का एक एक स्ट्रक्चर है जिसमें डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल सर्विस मॉडल देन डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल के अंदर में पब्लिक क्लाउड प्राइवेट क्लाउड एंड हाइब्रिड क्लाउड एंड सर्विस मॉडल के अंदर में आईडब्ल्यूएस पीएडब्ल्यूएस एंड एसडब्ल्यूएस आता है तो आप अपने नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्क्रीन में हम देखेंगे कि क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग आईडब्ल्यूएस है पीडब्ल्यूएस है एंड एसडब्ल्यूएस है हाउ इट इज हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम लीगेसी तो लीगेसी में क्या होता था कि आपके पास एक सर्वर है आपने उसमें ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इंस्टॉल किया उसके बाद आपने उसमें ऑरिकल इंस्टॉल किया आपने उसमें एप्लीकेशन इंस्टॉल की सो एवरीथिंग नीड्स टू बी मेंटेन बाय यू यू आर होल एंड सोल रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दैट हार्डवेयर फ्रॉम स्क्रैच टू एंड सो दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ लेगेसी लेगेसी अभी भी बहुत जगह लेगेसी चलता है बहुत सी कंपनी अपना डेडिकेटेड सर्वर रखती है ठीक है दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो टू दाउड बिकॉज ऑफ सम लिटेंसी इशू एंड अदर इशू इफ डेटा ट्रांजेक्शन रेट इज वेरी हाई So they, and which is not being achievable through the internet. So all of them are doing. Okay, now there is a legacy system. It is running. Many companies are doing legacy. Okay. And then cloud computing. What has happened? Now, as I have told you, IWS is clear. Okay, IWS is clear. Okay, IWS is clear. Okay, IWS is clear. And S W S software as a service. So now what happens? What happens? IWS is a host operating system. That is from network storage server to host operating system. Okay, is being maintained by is being is being uh, who is responsible for that? Uh, that cloud service provider is responsible for that. Okay, and and from guest operating system, middleware, and runtime data and application is being who is responsible for these these uh, things. So you will be responsible for these things. Okay, if something is uh, uh, something has gone with the operate uh, wrong with the operating system, guest operating system. So you have to uh, uh, do uh, things to recover that. So you have to do that. So you have to do that. So you have to do that. so it will not be uh, the cloud service provider not uh, provider not held responsible for all guest operating systems because iws is a part of infrastructure as a service you are availing the infrastructure in the form of guest operating system okay so pass me kya hai pass me aap dekho maximum cheez is being uh, maintained by or uh, responsible uh, for maximum cheez uh, responsibility is lies with the with the cloud service provider like network storage server host os okay. and guest os will wear run time and data and application is only being maintained by you only data and applications rest everything will be taken care by the run time will be taken care by the middleware will be taken care by the if, if guest os is there will be taken care by the host os will be taken care by the cloud service provider okay only two things uh, where you are responsible that is application and data and for this last thing that is sws so whole and soul will be for all these network storage server host guest middleware run time data and application who will be responsible cloud service provider will be responsible for these things so so so, so like like gmail or any other ways are you responsible for that no cloud service provider is responsible for that agar aapka mail receive send nahi ho raha to you no need to take care about that aapka mail kisi ne agar bheja so that should be come to your inbox and you should see that ki agar aapke pay page mein login nahi ho rahi to who will be taking care Uh, that cloud service provider will be taken care of it. So, SaaS me whole and sole responsibility will be uh, of uh, this cloud service provider. I think so. It is clear to everyone uh, how it is different from the legacy and where we have to maintain, where cloud service provider have to maintain. So, uh, I would like to uh, tell you there are 125 plus AWS services domain wise, like domain wise like compute domain, analytics domain, networking and content delivery and storage domain, domain and etc. and many more. which we will discuss in next video till then thanks for watching